Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the Bard class and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the fun I've been having with it. I do think it's an extremely tough class to be playing as a solo player and I'm going to kind of explain why. I also included a run where I try to get some players killed using Chaotic Discord. And with everything going on, it's been really difficult to try to get a lot of game time in with my current schedule. That being said, I did find some fun moments with the Bard and I think currently the way it is, these are the kind of moments I'm going to be kind of using it for. I don't expect to be doing any high roller or any crazy PvP moments. Just personally, the rapier and the starting weapon just does so little damage. It's really tough to get going on the Bard. I just personally don't have the time to make it all click. That being said, it can be fun, just in a very different way. So after dying a boatload of just about every other class, this is kind of what I resorted to, which was just messing around with Chaotic Discord, one of the spells. And you'll notice right there, you can actually play the first couple notes perfectly and then just spam the last ones and you'll get the spell off quicker. And it'll still give you that six seconds of... I don't think it's intended and it's probably not really something I should be promoting everyone doing because they'll probably get fixed. And I think in general, the Bard class is going to see a lot of changes really soon. Just like the Ruins map, that could change already. These guys aren't messing around when it comes to changes and they're not just going to force you to play stuff that is super, you know, wacky. They listen, so that's good. However, this is pretty much what I was doing. And of course, this is before the patch, so this is runes map only that I was doing this in. I did try goblin caves once in a while, but basically you can get a whole crowd of mobs to just kill itself. Which is kind of cool, kind of fun. And I think in a team, the bird is probably much better suited. Because anytime you're doing this solo, someone just happens to come by and just spear you in the head. Or as you're running and trying to play your music, you're getting shot by the mobs that are supposed to be... You know, you're supposed to be trying to get them to help you. So after kind of messing around with this for a while, and dying to people kind of repeatedly, I thought, well, geez, maybe I can get some of these mobs to actually start attacking other players. And that was kind of my goal for a lot of this, and it did actually work once. That being said, for every time it worked, most times they would just end up attacking themselves, like mob v mob, rather than actually focusing on the players, and you end up just getting slashed to pieces as you're trying to make your escape. So I will be showing you guys a run where I had a little bit of luck, actually a lot of luck, and basically tried to use Chaotic Discord the combat some players. This was my second game on Bard, so I almost forgot that I had the silence spell, silence skill, which is okay, I think, but as a solo player, all these things and focusing on music and focusing on skills, none of them are really, you know, that influential to a solo player's setup. The heal doesn't necessarily heal your HP. The movement speed, as you're playing it, you're actually slower because you're using the loot. So a lot of things just make it really, really challenging. Like, you guys let me know in the comments what you think and how much fun you're having with it, but kind of for me personally, it's just kind of a troll mess around class right now. So we're actually going to jump ahead a little bit and get this one started a few minutes in. And now this is when I was kind of testing things out with the movement speed. And you'll see I'm playing the full song, and then I just start spamming it to see what happens and you get nothing. So you do have to hit a few of those notes. And... Um, even if you hit, and you'll see here in just a second, even if you hit a few of those notes perfectly to start, like I'm at 290 or something. Okay, no no movement speed. We hit two notes, and it gives us 301 or 311, which is actually pretty decent. So you can hit the first couple notes and bump your movement speed up and not have to finish the song. Yeah, so fortunately that song actually has got a couple notes early. And then it basically counts as a poor play. A little bit weird, I think. Maybe we'll see some changes in the future, but... This, like I said, was my second game playing Bard, and I was kind of just messing around. So I actually found it more useful just to spam it quickly, rather than being dragged down by the... You know, slow speed while you're playing. My plan was to try to lure these mobs into somebody. So hitting it four times, you know, you see a little bit better benefit from it. Hitting that perfect spell, but sometimes finishing that spell off and hitting it perfectly while trying to focus on any skills or switching items, it's um it's a real challenge. If you had kind of a front line with a couple players in front of you, I could really see myself enjoying this. And I'm actually surprised I haven't really got to witness too many teams running a really good bard.
Songs do sound amazing, though. So I was thinking about kind of hanging out and going down to B2 because I hadn't been there in, like, literally forever. Thankfully, that's been patched, and we will get to try out the crypts a little bit more. So I take a rest up here, and then I notice there's actually a wizard who spotted me and probably heard all my song playing. So he's actually going to try to mess with my, um, my hiding spot. So we're going to attempt to try to get some mobs to kill him. Actually cancel Chaotic Discord here because I'm expecting spells to be thrown in my face. And we're hoping some of those mobs aggro onto him. And he'll have to deal with them. We actually get a barb as well, so maybe, um... Maybe we can get some guys to attack. Here we go. He gets tagged once. And then I'm pretty much safe, so we actually send the other guy in his direction, but... You'll see here, and this is the problem, they actually focus other mobs first, it seems like. So you never quite get as much focus mob attacks on uh, other players. They end up, and you're here. If you have one, it actually works better. Because you'll have that one, and his only target could be another player. Unfortunately, he keeps coming back for me, which is very disappointing. We eat a fireball, which isn't nice. We accidentally switched to tranquility there instead of our movement speed. And then we finally get it right. We're gonna spam the first couple, get our movement speed quickly, and try to get out of here. This is kind of the situation I want to be in, though. I, I really have nothing to lose. I'm using a starter kit. And if I can get a few guys to die to mobs, it, you know, it could be a lot of fun. Fortunately, this rest thing takes a long time. And like someone said in the comments of the last video, if you actually use your bandage first, it heals unhealable health first, I believe. And as well as pots. So I should name who made that comment. But thank you. I appreciate the information. Because it's a little confusing when you first start getting into this game. With the heals and you know non-healable HP and healable HP. Our peaceful little rest is going to be cut short. As zone's about to push us. And I don't want to get stuck behind a whole bunch of mobs. So you'll see that actually... Supposed to be increasing our restorable HP. I don't find the heal actually does that much. Our wizard's still hanging around, so this is our opportunity here to make uh, Chaotic Discord work for us. So we start playing, we start strumming the loot, and things get really messy as we're getting. Some mobs are switching to him, but it's just an archer, and the archers have terrible projectile speed. I really want it to kill him. I don't want to be the one that does it. And he really wants me dead. He's probably getting a little annoyed. Magic missiles comes out. The archer just keeps missing every arrow. So we end up having to do this ourselves. Somehow. I, I have no idea how, but we survive. Literally one HP. I pretty much panic rest here, just because I thought I was still getting some DOT effects. Some damage over time stuff going on, but I likely should have used bandage first, then rest. I launch my torch because I'm just stressed out here and trying to switch to all these different things, and... I know zone's coming quickly, and somehow, the gods blessed us again with a surgical kit. And zone is literally on our heels as we try to get this off. Pretty sure this is like my first surgical kit I found in this entire playtest so far, so hugely lucky. I don't think that will actually break through things, so we need to use our rape here. And we actually get a blue portal right in front of us. We're gonna snag a few more things because I literally have no money at all in this class. And hopefully get out of here before someone uh, stumbles upon my music. I'm still testing out Tranquility here, and I don't find it, like, I don't know what it's even doing, honestly. So we're gonna Chaotic like, Discord, get them to kinda, maybe attack each other. If the aggro is off us just for a second, that might give us enough time to grab this portal. Now they're aggroed onto us, so, yeah, we should be able to make it. And basically, yeah, we barely make it. Actually, 
curiously enough, that's the cape, which looks absolutely horrible. But he somehow found a blue cloak, I mean. I have never seen one until, you know, this game, which was... It doesn't look, I guess, terrible. It's just, um... Maybe it does, I don't know. It looks a little strange, if you ask me. Kind of flailing around. There's no real wind, so it's it's kind of moving. A little odd, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. Look, that's basically what I've been up to with the guard class. Don't expect to go too crazy on this class and getting into any more nonsense with it. I'm kind of maybe be trying out some crypts, messing around with the Chaotic Discord and seeing if I can pull some really large rooms and get them to kill each other. Other than that, let me know what you guys are thinking. If you've enjoyed it, if you're using it in teams of three, like how successful is it being for you guys? I'm really curious. I think there will be a lot of changes going forward. There's not a lot of perks on the class right now. And some of the skills are a little odd. So, I'm hopeful. I do enjoy it. I just hope it has a better place as a solo player. Once again, thank you guys all. I appreciate you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I have big things on the way. At least, I think they're big things. I hope you guys enjoy what's coming, and I'll see you then.